debuting with the Stanley Cup championship after relocating from Quebec. It's the Avalanche on home ice in Colorado. Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, in a scene that is wild. The fans are ecstatic here because the team that's come home has actually won a game. But what about the team that gave up one in that first pair of games? What are they thinking? Well, I think the road team, Doc, the first 10 minutes, I believe, will be the key to this game and maybe even the series. you got to take the crowd out of it and you got to take the home team out of it. So I think if they can weather the storm the first 10 minutes, they got a great chance of taking a lead in this series. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Off a victory last time, trying for another on the long playoff road. Tough time of it last game, but the coaches need him to bounce back so they can win this playoff tilt that is about to start. Nathan McKinnon, NHL Rookie of the Year when he broke in just after his 18th birthday, worth the price of admission. The playoffs, the best time of year, and we begin. Mike Emmerich here. He scores! Didn't take long. Crowd celebrates 1st score and now they can play from in front. Colorado's gotten the crowd into it early. And rightfully so. The energy they play with has been terrific. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. By number 92, Gabriel Landeskog. Solid work there by Johnson. Pitching this one to McKinnon. Kids. Takes it right back. Let's it go. What a reaction save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Can start the attack going in the zone. And a save. Passing one off now to Landeskog. Gathered up by Couture. San Jose skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Shoots one. Snapped out of the air. The goaltender makes a good stop here with the stick as he deflects this out of the scoring area. Nice face-off work. The Avs have the puck at center ice. Shoots. Deflected off the blocker. A great wrist shot. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. The pucks keep coming and he turns them away. Fires. Score. Kane. Well, that certainly changes the complexion of the game. That tying goal has changed everything about this one. San Jose's come up big on another faceoff. And he shoots. Save. He gets that squeeze in those pads and plays stop. Thomas Hurtle, time of the goal, 7 minutes, 38 seconds. Clean win on the draw. And it's a good pickup. Colorado's controlling play in the neutral zone. Driving in from no man's land. Blocked away. And now it's directed to Kerfoot. 
skating up the center zone wing. It's dumped in. Collected by Dillon. Puck is thrown to Thornton, trying to go to Nyquist. And he shoots one. Made the save. Snapping a pass to Soderbergh. With a shot. Score! Off the iron and in. Always dangerous once you break its high that you would sit back and try to protect the lead. I think you have to stay aggressive and play in the other end. The Avs now have a one goal lead in the first period. Perhaps they can build on this and carry something sizable to the dressing room. Neutralized faceoff win. Scored by number 34. Carries it on in from center. Nice save there. They're going to have to do better than that to beat him. By number one. Colorado's looking to head man up the wing. 25 seconds. Got it in his own end. Ping pongs it ahead to Burns. Colorado's in control of the puck in the defensive zone. Hammers his way up the wing at center. Shoots one. Great glove grab. San Jose setting up an offense from the wing. Wonderful save. A free puck now. Watch out! A big hit. Pavelski's not shy to throw his body around here at any time. Swept on to Johnson. Fires one. He missed the net by a mile. This was a heavy shot, but it had no chance of going in because it missed the net. Got the save there. Wonderful work and goal. These saves are all about positioning. Slot wrister. Oh, what a save that was. The puck is cleared out, and that should do it. The first period has come to a close, and we do have a score. It's a close game after one. You'd expect that from these two. These two teams are separated by just a goal. Did you know that season ticket holders get special discounts and access to insider information? Check our website for details. Soderbergh's goal has made the difference so far, but is it the winner? Intermission time is here. We have 20 minutes down. We have lots of time still to go. What are your thoughts so far, Edzo? The Sharks come into the second period trailing on the scoreboard because they didn't possess the puck much in the first. They'll need to change that and their approach if they want to win this game. Jones got the whistle and a rest. Good job on the draw. Moving it to Couture. Gains the zone. Shoots one. Lightning in that glove. From the outside. Score! And the game is even. Oh, that was a critical goal. Now the game is tied, and we'll see who can get the upper hand in the next few minutes. San Jose's got the game even up again. Still in the second period. Lots of time. Can't wait to see what happens now. 
Colorado's taking that neutral zone face off. He's got that pass at the point. Got that tremendous scoring chance. Directing that one to Couture. Steps in from the neutral zone. Good save. It's going to have to be something tougher than that to score. Looking to Gerard. Propelled to Gerard. Slid to McKinnon. That shot came from nowhere. His perfect positioning allowed him to shut down that chance. Through the corner. Oh, and he's hammered. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Heaves one. Marvelous save. No time on that one. Let's it go. That's a good save and goal. They're going to have to come up with something better than that. The whistle is blown. That heavy net has been lifted off. They'll put it back on. Players are always told to get themselves to the net. However, in this case, they bump into it, and the net pops off those little orange pegs. Colorado's got that puck off the tie-up. He's got that point pass. Tries to get it on net. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Got his pad on that one. Solid win of the draw. Laid on to Kerfoot. Around through the corner. Turned a shot on net. Wonderful stop. On to Kerfoot. Save with the pad. Pass attempt to Donskoy. He got down there and the icing is canceled. Scrum over, puck kicked by Kane. And that's moved up the wing to Comfort. And he dumps it in. Chip to Braun. A hit that can make you mad. I really like the effort that he's trying there to generate a turnover by finishing his check. Great save. Comfort's not out of position at all here. He's in the right spot. That allows him to deliver this check. Just a bit under five minutes remaining in the period. Both teams have connected twice. The Avs with a face-off win. Propelled to Brassard. Gains that offensive line. May not have intended it, but it hit him. Went to the backhand. Routine save. That puck is held, and the whistle stops play. The Avs with a clean win on the draw. Colorado's looking to head man up the wing. Shot. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. Fantastic setup and equally great stop by the goaltender. The Avs prevailing on the faceoff. Great opportunity denied. Pitching it to Goodrow. Gains the zone. The Save period. there. Pitching this one to Brassard. Shoots. What a shot, and he got his glove on. And he hatchets one. Good work there in goal. 40 minutes have been played. Some hits given, some shots fired. But let's see what they have in mind as we get closer to the start of the third period and crunch time. Always interesting to look at the shots on goal, and they are interesting here. 18 for the Sharks and 16 for Colorado. If you want to show us your accuracy, register now for San Jose is satisfied enough that they got this game tied back up and then battled on even terms the rest of the way. We are tied. We will return after these words.
This is the third period of a game that is all even up. Who's going to break that tie? Let's see. Score! You fight so long in a tied game, now you've got the game-breaking goal. What do you do with it? I think you attack. You try to get another one. Or at the very least, you don't let your opponent breathe. The Sharks have gotten a one-goal lead here in the third period. Do they go for two, or do they just try to protect this? The Sharks control from the neutral zone. Fires off a body. It's an onside play. Good job with the poke check. The Sharks are at the wing in neutralize. Made that work for him in goal. Got it right back. Let's a shot fly. The pad flashed out to turn that aside. And yet, score! No goal. They're going to have to go upstairs on this. Maybe a kick. There was no indecision there. The referee waved it off right away. But there is going to be a video review. about the no goal call. The home crowd is furious. The Sharks with a win at center. Takes a shot. Block that one. Let's a shot go. And still another save. What a show. Gets in, looks over his options here. Picks it up in his own end. The Sharks skate along the perimeter in the neutral zone. Fires, made that stop. To Gerard. The Sharks are looking to make a play out of their own zone. Leads that charge into the zone. A shot. Got in the way of that one. He hangs on and gets the whistle. <laughs> Defensive zone win. The abs arrive between the blue lines. Right to the point. Oh, and he is closed off emphatically. He finishes his check here and drives his man right into the boards. Puck ricocheted off the screen. Takes that pass from the other point man. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. The Sharks are boxed on a tripping minor. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. Colorado's getting their first chance of the game on the power play. Always important to win the special teams battle, or at the very least, come out even. That hits somebody. The Sharks shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. Broke it up. Braun's got to shovel it out of there. Good work in clearing it out. Gathered up again by Carlson. Closed off and sealed on the boards. This game has been tightly contested the entire way. I can't see either team stretching this out at this point. A close finish is at hand. He finally got it out of there. San Jose's decision-making as of late has been perfect. That's another good play. Landis caught. That didn't take very long. Here they go.
And the fight ends with one resounding punch. You don't see too many fights end on that note. More times than not, you drop your gloves like that, you're going to spend at least five minutes in the box. And they take that neutral zone face off. San Jose's penalty kill was significant. And a save. Passing one off now to Jost. Got it at the point. Look out, here it comes. Better tighten up the brain bucket. Not afraid to get physical here tonight. And he is shooting. Turned away. That was a big hit. Barry's often the focus of other teams' physical play. He's going to have to pick himself up after he got trucked there. Gathered up again by Couture. San Jose's organizing back in the defensive zone. And he hammers one. Did what he's paid to do. Now it's directed to Soderbergh. Right up the side. Brings it in for an attack. We are in the last minute. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Colorado's pulling their goalie saying, take a chance. Why not? Net open. He scores. Don Scoy's goal puts this one away. Everybody should head for the exits. I'll probably put a bow on this one, Edzo. That'll be it. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. By number 27, Jonas Donson. Terrific determination by Johnson. Timo Meyer. And by number 47, Jochen Ryan. The play goes offside, and we get a halt. One last risky attempt to get back in this game. You pull the goalie, put an extra man out. And you should win the faceoff, or you're in trouble. Shoot! Terrific glove save! Carlson's trying to work his way to center ice. Cleared it out of there. It's dumped in. The Avs are skating it back in their own end. A big collision there. Love the physical play. He takes his man right into the boards with a solid hit. Game three completed, and it's a 2-1 series. The tie is now broken. Will it be tied again next time? The tie has been broken, and they obviously feel good about the win. Now the pressure is on their opponents to answer back in the next game. The tournament moves along with even more promising matchups in the future. Don't miss those. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying so long for now.